Good afternoon, everyone. Benjamin Lindsay here, Managing Editor at Backstage. Um, I'm very excited to be joined by M Maria Bakalova for this afternoon's interview. Um, she's, of course, one of the most acclaimed uh, actors of this year, certainly the year's breakout star um, for her performance in Borat's subsequent movie film. She just took home the prize for Best Supporting Actress in a feature film at the Critics' Choice Awards last night. Uh, Golden Globe nominated, SAG nominated. She's vying for Oscar. Um, really just an incredible time for her and her career. And uh, we, this is our second time interviewing, so I'm excited to reconnect with her to uh, chat with chat with her for you guys today. Let me see if I can pull her up real quick and then we can get started. Oh. <laughs> hello, Maria. Oh, hello. I was trying to figure out how, which one I'm pressing actually. Is that the right one? Um, but I'm we, we figured it out. It's all good. It's good to see you again. How are you? It's great to see you. And it's the first time in my life that I'm doing this thing. So I'm super excited. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm happy to be your first. Um, and obviously, it, it uh, first should be said, congratulations on your win last night. Um, How does it feel now, 24 hours out? Has it sunk in yet? Um, thank you from the deepest of my heart. I still cannot realize it, what is happening. It still feels like it actually happened. <laughs> was it real? Uh, because it's a huge honor for me just being in the conversation alongside all of these incredible, inspiring women. I mean, you have the legends like Olivia Coleman, uh, uh, Glenn Close, you have Yung Yong Chan, you have Ellen Burstyn, you have Amanda Sainfried. It's just, I, I feel thrilled just to be named alongside them. And when that happened, I, I, I cannot believe that it's for real. Yeah, yeah, you're still pinching yourself, but it's so well deserved. Um, I mean, I've been speaking the praises of your performance for months now, and I'm so excited to see the nominations coming in, the recognition coming in. Um, uh, I, I guess uh, the, the next question, I, I know that you're in production right now. Can you share with us what you're yes. working on now, uh, now that Borat is behind you? What's up next for you? Uh, right now, I'm working on Judd Apatow, a uh, next movie called Bubble which is going to follow the story of actors that are going to try to finish shoot a movie during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. which I, as actress that shot during the pandemic, I experienced it. And it's <laughs> when you start questioning yourself, what actually I want from life? Should I change something? And you start struggling because we've been stuck between these four white walls for a year now. Mm -hmm. And you're like, am I actually on the right? side of my my path or should I make a change with something so it's really interesting um and it's super funny and I can say that it feels more like a holiday movie rather than as a pandemic movie okay <laughs> good yeah. to know good to know uh, uh, so and I'm working with incredibly talented actors uh, like Pedro Pascal, David Duhovny, Karen Gillian, Leslie Mann, Iris Apatow. Um, it's just unbelievably um, amazing. Wild, wild. And it's certainly something that you know a bit about having filmed in during quarantine and the, the pandemic yourself. Um, <laughs> it, I am interested, you, can, you do touch on the fact that this last year and going through the struggles of any artist during the pandemic, you found yourself kind of questioning what you're doing, if it's the right thing. Um, would you say that despite the successes of this year, it was also a pretty trying year for you as an artist? Um, and how did you kind of push through that? Uh, I have to say that I'm, 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 I see myself as a lucky person because I've worked uh, in this hard time uh, and we survived the shootings and none of us get COVID. Um, we're healthy, alive. Um, and that's probably the most important thing. But at the same time, mm -hmm. we made Borat a subsequent movie film, who I hope brought some love in these uh, hard times. And also mm -hmm. some important questions about, um, about equality, about how we should treat each other with more love and respect and how, how much more beautiful the world will be if we are supported as human beings. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's a great message to the film. And um, I, I always knew that, Sasha Baron Cohen had something like this up his sleeve. He's always proven time and again to be one of our great performers. But uh, yeah, this film surprised me and it's messaging. Um, 
in addition to the comedy, of course. <laughs> yes, it's it's funny, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Now, now lo looking ahead, what kind of roles uh, interest you in general? Are you looking to do more English language films? Was that always kind of a goal of yours when you first got started in the industry? So I started with acting when I was 13 years mm -hmm. old working on how I can get to high school, working with my first teacher, Simeon Dimitrov and Daniel Georgieva and Maya Slavcheva, people that have been there since I've been a little, little girl in Burgas, um, Bulgaria. And then when I was probably 14, I was, I want to be in Hollywood and drawing all of this palm trees that now I know that they're actually brought to Hollywood from Miami, if that's yeah. right. <laughs> Which actually- You got it, yeah. <laughs> And uh, I was like, even sharing one super famous Marilyn Monroe quote, I'm going to be a great movie star someday. But then suddenly I was 16, 17, and I was like, realize Maria, this is never gonna happen with your accent. There is no other name finishing like yours. There is nobody, Bakalova or mm -hmm. something, leading a big movie or just seeing as a multi-layered character like Tuta. And I focus myself more about European cinema, what is happening in Russia, Zviadintsev, what is happening in Denmark, Thomas Van Weber, mm -hmm. Susanna Beer, okay, beautiful, what's happening in Italy, Sorrentino. And I fall in love with European cinema, uh, but then by the end of my graduation um, in the Academy for Theater and Film Arts, what happened? I sent something <laughs> crazy and here I am now. So. I don't know, I'm completely open-minded and open-hearted to just work on important projects, um, even big movies or independent movies. I think it, both of them are important for our mental health, really, because mm -hmm. some of them are tricking more deep questions. Some of them are important just to, to make us relax, to make us enjoy, I don't know, the evening. Yeah. Um, so anything that it, it has a great script, it's really welcome to, to, to me. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. And I, I loved what you had to say last night. Um, in your acceptance speech, you said that you can prepare uh, to seize your moment, but that someone needs to first off offer you the opportunity. Um, and it sounds like you've been preparing to seize your moment for years. You studied at uh, v various institutions under various uh, acting coaches and teachers. Um, what would you say is one of the biggest takeaways from your training of that time? Um, how, how, how did your training kind of prepare you for taking on a role like this? Um, my training has been always as a theater actress. Mm -hmm. It's been in, in high school, then in university, it's been always theater. Uh, and probably that kind of helped me because on the stage, you don't have a second take. Mm -hmm. Even if you have a take, you have to just keep going because the audience are there and they're seeing it. Mm -hmm. uh, I changed you. Might, you might make it better on the next... Um, on the next date but you have one shot and same as board we don't have like we're gonna take we're gonna have a second take we're gonna make this clear we're gonna make this working better mm -hmm. you, either now or never so maybe that's that you have to catch the moment you have to go with the flow i don't know help me more and being interested in your instincts because the more i think about it, the more i realize that somehow our inner voices know better than our brains what is right mm -hmm. we should listen to each other to ourselves uh so it's it's been it's been helpful mm -hmm. i think i think i hope yeah and i mean aside from theater had you ever performed um in improv and improv comedy anything like that like you're doing in bora or is that kind of a first time experience for you uh it's been one of a kind it's been my first comedy when i'm playing a comedian character wow okay it debuted because uh, all of my background i've been part of some really powerful i would say it like that bulgarian movies that are more focused on festivals because there are some great people like going to carlo vivari or berlinare or venice all of these festivals that are important for that kind of cinema and but mo all of my parts has been really dramatic starting from mm -hmm teenage pregnancy or teenager with mental illness or teenager having a transgressive relationship with her father or teenager who is losing her sister in the woods and she has to find her or a teenager committing suicide while she's pregnant after her boyfriend is breaking up with her. So it's been kind of 
tough road and now happy having, <laughs> yeah and having this funny journey it's been different it's been challenging i can say um but yeah <laughs> But when you're playing some of those more uh, dramatic roles and you're, you're doing heavy, dark themes, how, how do you uh, prepare for that? How do you get into your character's brain and uh, make the performance what it is on screen? We've been rehearsing most of the scenes that, ha that have been scripted and we had goals for each of the scenes. And mm -hmm. that's where our amazing director, Jason Wollener, was in his power because he was guided us. All of the rehearsals that we did were in English. And it was interesting because when we joined this real scene in the real world with real people, especially when we're speaking with each other, we're speaking in our fake language, which is a mixture of different languages. Right, right. In Bulgarian with some Roma words, voices, noises. Uh, and especially speaking Hebrew with Polish, catching some Bulgarian words here and there. So it's been crazy. And in these moments, you start somehow feeling each other, and mm -hmm. which is scary because you're like, okay, I know what you're gonna do, no matter the fact that I have no idea what you're saying. Mm -hmm. uh, but Jason mm -hmm. guided us, and he he actually showed us the heart in the movie because the movie is kind of emotional. I can see it in this way too because it's a family story. It's about a father and a daughter. Father, the first father from that made a place who is gonna love mm -hmm. his daughter and um, show it out loud that he loves her and support her. And she's gonna be the first daughter that is gonna reject her father up until the moment when they're gonna meet each other again equally. Mm -hmm. And probably the beauty of the story. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, and um, I know you, Sasha, and I have spoken about um, what it was like to audition for this movie and how you first got the role. Um, our audience today are kind of the working actors of the world. Could you uh, offer us your best piece of audition advice? How do you typically prepare and what advice can you share to other actors? I, I'm sharing everything. <laughs> I'm open, <laughs> open book. Uh, but honestly, I'm doing my homework all the time. I'm preparing as much as possible uh, because I am a work poet. But <laughs> moment something weird is happening with my brain and I'm like forget about all of your preparation that's you need that just for confidence the moment when you join the casting the audition just go with your instincts because mm -hmm. they are the, the right things I believe because somehow you know what you have to do something somehow you know what is authentic to authentic to you um, and that's my advice and probably enjoy it you have mm -hmm. amount of time to experience this journey. It might be just audition. It might be the preparation of the audition. You are living the life of this character, even for a short period of time. You are living it. So mm -hmm. it's good, isn't it? And it's, yeah. life is so short. And if we enjoy every single moment like a game, thinking about the, um, what is going to happen, this, uh, all of this, the things that we might bring to the world by our actions and words, but enjoying every single moment, it's important, I hope. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, as a final question for you then, uh, I know you, you have so much ahead of you, so much exciting work and projects, um, but you've been acting for years now. What, what is one piece of advice that you would give your younger self when you were first starting? Um, what's something that you've learned that you wish you knew back then? To trust the process, probably. Mm. Not thinking about the result, because I have this problem to trying to see what is going to happen in future, how is it going to look at the end, which is not my business. There's mm -hmm. something that, that, that's their profession. So enjoy the ride and trust the process. These people know what they're doing. That's, that's what I would told myself. And I still keep repeating it to myself. <laughs> and I'm still in the process of learning how to do it. Because it's easy to say it, but it's kind of hard to do it. Um, but yeah, trust the process and enjoy it. Don't think about the result. Excellent, excellent, I love it. Well, um, I can't wait to see what you do next. Congratulations again, and it was, it was great to catch up. It was great to see you again. Thank you so much, it's great to see you. And I wanna use this moment just to say, happy International Women's Day as a feminist. Uh, it's a beautiful holiday, and I wish all of the women, and 
just just to feel loved, to be loved, and to love and to be healthy. Thank you. Awesome, I love it. Thanks for the shout out and uh, happy International Women's Day to you. We Thanks. will see you next time and stay well. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>